wanted to talk next about the Twitch hack. And that's kind of the big news of the week um, beyond what's going on with Facebook. Um, and it's certainly big news in the gaming ecosystem, right? The gaming community. So what happened is that Twitch, which is Amazon's streaming service, was hacked earlier this week. And it, it appears as though it wasn't just another, you know, random hack. It was a personal hit. And um, so this was first reported by Video Games Chronicle. Um, an anonymous hacker or hackers posted a 125 gigabit torrent link to 4chan on Wednesday. Um, and VGC verified that this information was available publicly for download on 4chan. So it's out there. Right. This leaked information con contained a lot of information, probably the most alarming of which was uh, Twitch's source code. And uh, it also included payout information related to how much Twitch's most popular streamers make. Which, which is a lot. <laughs> well, it is a lot. But, you know, I, I mean, I'm, and not to mitigate that in any way, but, you know, YouTube's most popular personalities make a lot. And Instagram influencers, I mean, you know, like to me, that that is not something that would piss me off or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't feel like that was something that was tremendously harmful. People, I don't know, who knows? Um, but so the how much money some of the popular Twitch creators make, the source code data for mobile, desktop, and game console Twitch clients. Um, there was also um, an unreleased um, Steam competitor that was codenamed Vapor from Amazon Game Studios. So a game that hasn't yet been released. Um, code that was related to pr uh, proprietary SDKs and internal Amazon Web Services used by Twitch. That's a big deal. Yeah. Um, and along with Twitch's internal security tools designed to improve security by having staff pretend to be hackers. So that's sort of, you know, here's my security tools. Take a look, right? Here's what yeah. we're using. Like that's problematic. Um, so what I, but what I said though, originally was that this appears to be personal. And the reason that I said that is because um, when the data was dumped online, the hacker or hackers said that their motivation was all about fostering competition and online online streaming. Okay, I get that. Maybe why the creator sell payment information is relevant. I get that. Um, and it, and the hacker described Twitch's community as a disgusting, toxic cesspool. So, seems fair to say, right? That it's a you know a personal attack. Yeah. Um, so Perhaps it, along the likes of the Sony attack. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's actually what it was compared to. Um, and so, you know, it did not appear, even though this statement sort of maligned the Twitch community, it doesn't appear that user data like passwords and address information were released. Um, so, so I guess that's important. So, it, you know, it looks like maybe somebody was aggravated about Twitch and maybe Amazon more than simply the users themselves. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but so this happened earlier this week. And of course, we keep talking about it, reporting on it, learning more. And one of the things that happened this morning... Friday, October 8th, is that background images for Minecraft and GTA 5, which I know is a game, but I'm not a gamer, so I've never played it. I do know what Minecraft is. Um, they were replaced on Twitch with images that appear to be Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' face. So that's kind of, so we're not done with this, right? No. And, and I know you're a gamer and you have kids who are gamers. And, um, and, and what do you think? You know, it's a, it's an interesting one when you get something, uh, you know, of this nature, um, it doesn't look like monetization, uh, you know, is the goal. Um, there were initial reports that user data was out there, but right. that doesn't really seem to be the case here. Um, but I think for a lot of people, uh, I know, uh, you know, I'm a, a Twitch user. Uh, my kids are, have accounts on Twitch. Um, not too many people know that Amazon actually owns Twitch. I mean, you know, Twitch is, is one of those online gaming streaming platforms that has just exploded 
uh, over the past few years. Um, but you know, go back, you know, to um, uh, you know, go back to the acquisition. I think uh, Amazon Pay was like 950 million um, for this back in 2014. It's got 41.5 million users in the U.S. alone for this platform. It is absolutely huge. It's over the top, and it's a competitor, direct competitor to the YouTube streaming services. So right. uh, I know, uh, you know, my uh, my you know my youngest son, he had his gaming streaming channel on uh, YouTube for Fortnite, and at a certain point, he said, you know, Dad, I think I'm going to move over to Twitch. And I was like, okay, you know, why? And he's like, well, well, yeah, well, I think you can make a lot more money there. <laughs> you know, so um, you know, it's it's a very interesting one, but just the fact that this code was available, that somebody right. was able to breach the system, um, you know, it's got to be, uh, you know, viewed as, uh, you know, a black eye on the part of Amazon and their exactly. ability to secure this data because this streaming platform, it's not something that's widely used by adults around the world. It's right. kids. And, you know, I, I know when you look at the, a platform that has kids tied to it and, you know, go back to earlier this week with, uh, you know, Facebook saying that they were walking away from their plans for now, for, uh, you know, uh, call it the Kinsta, you know, kids Instagram, right. uh, you know, out there. Um, you know, that's a really dangerous thing because the younger kids are when their personal data gets out there and their behavioral data gets out right. there, the way they choose passwords, when they're online, when they're located, who their friends are. The younger that happens, the more likely they are to be targeted through phishing yeah. attacks and social engineering attacks later in life. And that's, you know, a, a legacy that we just cannot pass on, uh, you know, to, uh, to the kids. It's just, it's not fair to them. And, uh, you know, I definitely, I look at Amazon and I go, guys, this is on you. Right. You, know, you let well, this happen. And, and quite a few people mentioned that. And, you know, according to Amazon, Twitch had a misconfigured server. It was accessed by an by an unauthorized third party. And, yep. um, you know, Amazon has made it clear that this breach has nothing to do with the security of its AWS cloud server. Um, and, you know, as you said, the reality of it is <laughs> Amazon owns Twitch, yep. uh, you know, and, and one of the things that we talked about earlier before we started recording this show is that one of the things that Amazon um, does in many instances is keep things fairly siloed. You know, like it's Whole Foods business is separate from this, is separate from this. But but the reality of it is, is that, you know, um, things sometimes aren't siloed, shouldn't be siloed. And, and one of the knocks against Amazon here was that had you had more control over this, had you, AWS, been paying more attention to this, you could have perhaps avoided and or mitigated this. And so it, you know, it is, you can't divest yourself entirely from this when this is a, you know, a platform that you own. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'll make it very clear. I mean, and we've seen this, uh, you know, Shelly, in a lot of the primary research uh, that we do uh, at Futurum, where we look at the type of threats that enterprises are facing and, you know, their concerns and the mitigation efforts that they have to put in place, particularly with, you know, cloud providers and some of the hyperscalers like Amazon that are just massive uh, in their, uh, their cloud infrastructure and their market, uh, you know, penetration. Misconfiguration of servers happens all the time. It does. So for Amazon or anybody to say, look, it's not a security issue. We weren't hacked. I'm sorry. I call bullshit on that. You opened the gates, yeah. you misconfigured something, and you allowed a security breach to occur. That's on you. It, you know what? It is, actually. Um, I, we will close this part of our conversation by saying, if you're a Twitch user, if your kids are Twitch users, this this breach is still being investigated. There's still a lot that we don't know. And while it doesn't appear that unencrypted password information was part of this data dump, it is recommended that Twitch users turn on two-factor authentication just to be safe. So if that's you, if that's your kids, please make sure to do that. It could be important. So there we go. 